Palermo is the capital of Sicily and has a lot to offer in terms of history and culture, but it is also known for amazing street food. Sicily's diverse past has turned into a vibrant food scene, especially within street food. My first bean sandwich. Mm. Come with me for a tour around Palermo to try its great food and outdoor markets and local spots so you can eat like a local while in Palermo. Let's go. Cheese. In my previous video, I showed you around the Scala di Turchi, which is on the southern coast of Sicily and the area of Agrigento. If you're interested in this area and want to see what it has to offer, I will link the video in the description below. After leaving Agrigento, we drove up to Palermo. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you all around Palermo in terms of food and what to eat. We know about Italian food and what that means. And a lot of people think, oh yeah, pasta and pizza and gelato. But there's so much more. And specifically, Sicilian food is going to be very different different. Don't get me wrong, I love pasta pizza and gelato and Aperol spritzes, which apparently isn't Sicilian and they don't offer everywhere. And how do you actually figure all this out? Well, we are going to be going on a food tour. I booked this with Streetly Tours. This video is not sponsored in any way, but I highly recommend booking this tour while in Palermo. They also have one in Catania. I didn't go on the food tour while in Catania, but I do have a video about what to see and do in Catania if you are traveling to Catania and want to check it out. We started our food tour by going to this Enot and they provided us with a couple Sicilian snacks and specifically Palermo dishes, including some sparkling wine. So this spumante was delicious and I'm glad that we started the tour off with this. And then one of the first thing we tried was caponata. And this is supposed to be something that your grandma would make. It takes a long time and it's a vegetable dish. One of my favorite spots on the tour was when we went to this outdoor market. This is a very popular market. La Bucheria market is something that you can find lots of souvenirs and different items. There are also bars and restaurants and then a little courtyard area where they have food stalls to get food from. Our first stop at the market for some food was at this place and at first glance it just seems like a bakery. They have lots of good treats and different things in it but they also kind of were like a convenience store so you could buy just regular things here and a couple of things maybe for your pantry. <laughs> But we came here to try the spincione, which is a bread with different breadcrumbs and toppings on top. This was really good and pretty hearty. Then we went to this popular bar. This is one of the oldest bars in the area in the market. And we came here for a sweet wine drink called sangue, which means blood in Italian. And it was really good. I have no idea what this is. Oh, wow. Is. Thank you. And we all enjoyed the sangue. This is the open part of the market in the center. And as you can see, they have lots of tables. There are little food stalls around here. Some are open in the morning, some are open at night. And there are lots of bars and things that get really lively at night. We came back and saw, I think, a drum circle one night. So this is a very popular spot to hang out at night as well. The next street food that we tried was from this stall and everything here was made out of chickpeas. So we have chickpeas in a couple different types of fritters and flatbreads, if you will, and then they are fried. This was really good and apparently this was something that was brought here by the Arab and has Arab influence in them but it is still a very popular dish in Palermo street food. So if you walk around the market you're gonna see all these different options. I saw a lot of this octopus and seafood on YouTube channels before coming to Palermo and I was interested in trying one. The person on the food tour told me the best place to have seafood and she said that it was during the day from an actual storefront as they um, only are open until the afternoon time so I didn't get to try the octopus. But they have different types of meats and she showed us that this was a great location to try these grilled meats at. Then we walked outside of the market to try another very popular street food. This is where you can find spleen sandwiches. I had never had spleen sandwich before. I don't even know if I've had spleen before, but we could tell everyone walking up to this man to get their sandwich on the go. And apparently this was created by the Jewish influence in Sicily. <laughs> Thank you. 
I actually enjoyed this sandwich. You could try a whole sandwich or just a half of sandwich in case you're thinking you weren't gonna like it. And I enjoyed it because it had a lemony and salty flavor to it. Io ho giocato un anno che a Baglieria ci fu una squadra storica che si chiamava Gesù pure parenti no Mangia Grazie. Mangia mangia Ok I'm gonna watch you mangia Do it off the Mm. Tell me. Actually, pretty good. Yeah, okay. Mama, you want to manja? It, it has a nice salty taste. It's not what I expected. Yeah, you put a handful of salt in there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah? Good? Okay. Mama? Mama. <laughs> Ready? Okay, here we go. My first bean sandwich. Mm. First wow. of the dunya. If you're traveling to Sicily and need help planning your trip, I have free travel guides as PDFs that you can download in the Stand Store link in the description below. We're traveling to Sicily during summer and it was very hot, so I'm not surprised all these people were out at night to enjoy the sun going down and all the different food options. Our next spot was night and day ganchi. They had all these beautiful pastries everywhere and I thought we were coming here to get something sweet, but we were coming for something savory. These are called ravazata. They were so good that we came the next morning and had them for breakfast. There are basically dough with fillings inside, including meat fillings. I loved it. We ended the food tour by going to Gelateria La Cala and this was a really good place. In Sicily, they have something called granita, which is more of like an ice slushy, but they also serve gelato because that is Italian and this place was really good. Grazie cheese. Grazie mille. And of course, if we're talking about food in Palermo, we have to talk about Arancina. But if you've made it to this far in the video and you're enjoying it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any other Sicilian adventures. And this helps YouTube to get it out to other viewers like you that would be interested in my videos. Just so you know, they call it Arancina in Palermo and in other parts they call it Arancino. So remember the distinction when you're ordering so they don't look at you like you're crazy. And they serve their specifically in more of a round shape and a ball in Palermo. In my next video, we are heading about 30 minutes away from Palermo to check out the very popular Mandelo Bay. This is a beautiful place that you have to go while you're visiting in Sicily. Thank you so much for watching and hitting that like button. I will see you over on my YouTube channel where I have plenty more videos about Sicily, Italy, and the rest of the world. 